Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be telling you the top 3 best accessories to use in the first C. Anyways yeah, let's get into the video. Ok so, the first accessory is the Tomo Ring. This is the third best accessory you can use in first C. You can get the accessory here, from the Yoshi NPC. In order to be able to buy the accessory, you must have at least 200 plus stat points in melee, and have 500,000 money. If you don't have those requirements, you won't be able to talk to Yoshi and buy the accessory. Here's what the accessory looks like by the way. Now here are the buffs of this accessory. If the buffs seem bad, that's true. But also, in first C, there are basically only two good accessories. And for the third accessory, the best option you got is the Tomo Ring. So yeah. And since it gives 10% extra blocks fruits damage, it'll help you with grinding. That's only if you're using a blocks fruit, which you should be doing in first C. Overall a decent accessory. However, I don't recommend using this accessory. Like I said before, there are only two good accessories in first C. The Tomo Ring is basically just a fill accessory for the third spot. So make sure to watch till the end, so you know the two best accessories to use. For the second best accessory to use in first C, it's the Black Gape. This is a really good accessory, and it's also very easy to get. To get the accessory, just go to the Marine Fortress Island, and go to this watchtower. When you go down the ladder, you will see the Parlous NPC. Now you can buy the accessory for 50,000 money. This accessory also has no requirements, which means you just need 50,000 money and you can buy it. Here's what the accessory looks like by the way. Now here are the buffs of this accessory. This is a really good accessory, and it's really easy to get, and it also has good buffs, for the first C, so make sure you get this accessory. Now, for the best accessory to use in the first C, it's the Cool Shades accessory. To get this accessory, you must defeat the cyborg boss located in Fountain City. The drop chance of the accessory is 1 to 2%, or more if you have the times 2 boss drops game pass. The cyborg boss spawns here, if you defeat him and you don't get the accessory, just server hop the boss till you do. It only took me like 4 server hops to get the accessory, with the 2x boss drops game pass though. Now here are the buffs of this accessory. Now I know a lot of people might argue that the black cape is better than the cool shades, but it just depends. If you are willing to server hop for the accessory, cool shades is better. If you don't have time slash don't want a server hop, just use the black cape. In simple terms, cool shades has better buffs, but it's harder to get. The black cape has less buffs, but it's really easy to get. So yeah, you can decide which one you want to use. Anyways guys that's the end of the video. I hope this video has helped you to decide what accessories you should use in the first C. If this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. By the way, before I end this video, thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers, I really appreciate it. I'll be hosting a Blocks Fruit Game Pass giveaway soon, so stay tuned. Anyways, bye.